Hello there and welcome everyone. Today we're fishing an upland stream in the Altamaha River drainage because we're targeting the Altamaha bass. There are seven upland species of black bass and in the last five videos we've seen the red eye bass, the Cahaba bass, the Tallapoosa bass, the warrior bass, and the Chattahoochee bass. Altamaha bass are only native to the Altamaha River drainage above the fall line and there are only three native species of black bass in the Altamaha River drainage. The Altamaha bass, which is the upland species, the largemouth bass, and the Florida bass. Two non-native species of black bass have been introduced to the Altamaha River drainage, and today, wherever you find these non-native species, in most cases you no longer have native Altamaha bass. And that's because native species develop different life histories, traits, and behaviors over long periods of time as they adapt to conditions unique to the environment where they live. This process promotes reproductive isolation among native species. But when humans introduce non-native species of black bass, those natural barriers to reproduction haven't had time to develop, resulting in widespread hybridization between species. So if you want to find and catch Altamaha bass, you really need to be fishing in an area that does not have non-native species. So where are the non-native species in the Altamaha River drainage? Shoal bass were introduced to the Okmulgee River below Lloyd Shoals Dam by the Georgia Department of Game and Fish in 1975. This created an amazing shoal bass fishery, but it came at the expense of the native Altamaha bass. Today, you no longer have Altamaha bass in this section of the Okmulgee River. Alabama bass from Lake Lanier were illegally introduced by anglers to the upper Okmulgee and Oconee River systems over 40 years ago. Today, catchable populations of Altamaha bass are increasingly rare in the upper Okmulgee and Oconee River systems due to the illegal introduction and spread of non-native Alabama bass. The Altamaha bass has not been described by science, but it is recognized as a provisional species. There are currently around 20 forms of black bass in the Micropterus genus, and the Altamaha bass is the only black bass endemic to the state of Georgia. Endemic means it's found here and nowhere else in the world. It's also the only member of the sunfish family endemic to the state of Georgia. So I consider the Altamaha bass the state fish of Georgia. Of course, the official state fish of Georgia is the largemouth bass, because the IGFA all-tackle world record was actually caught here in the drainage I'm fishing today. However, most experts believe George Perry's bass was actually a Florida bass or a largemouth Florida hybrid due to its size. Anyway, you'll probably notice the water is stained in this video, so a thunderstorm must have hit somewhere upstream the night before. Upland species of black bass feed primarily by sight, so you always want to target them when the water is clear. And if I'd known the water was this stained, I probably would have stayed home or gone somewhere else, to be honest. Another reason I like for the water to be clear is so you can see all the physical traits that help distinguish one species from another. Many fish, including black bass, have a more washed out appearance in stained water. The markings are usually more diffuse and hard to see, Fin and body coloration is also less distinct in stained water, so I almost didn't post this video. But you know what? People need to know what these fish look like in stained water. So here's the stained water Altamaha bass video. I hope you like it, and thanks for watching. You wonder what happened to the person that was riding this bike. I hope they're not somewhere in the kudzu down there. was almost bad folks that was almost bad real bad the only thing that saved me was this paddle here 
Now, you look at the other side there and you say, well, you should have gone down that side. The only problem with that is this is a, that's an inside bin, that's a big point bar. So while I would have had easier access to the water from that side, it's a longer walk back up to, uh, through the floodplain, which is where the thickest brush is. Uh, we're talking briars, uh, poison ivy, river cane, you know, just really thick brush. But uh, it does look like there's some kind of road there, but that land is all posted, and I didn't really want to go walking through the woods over there. So while this side was steeper, it's a much shorter much shorter distance to the truck which uh you know sometimes you just have to pick your poison Now there's something you, you definitely don't see that every day. That's really, uh, really too close to Halloween to be seeing stuff like that. You just wonder what happened to the uh, individual that was in that chair because they sure didn't walk out of here. All right, getting some kind of bites.
Wow. That's what we came for. Thought that was going to be a, a large mouth. That's the Ultimaha bass, folks. You can see the that orange coloration on the leading edge of the anal fin right there. Also, you can see those those spots really well. He's also got uh, a little bit of that orange coloration in the uh, the leading edge of the caudal fin there, but I'm not sure that's going to show up. Um, he's also got the turquoise crescent on the back of the eye and uh, also lots of spots in the caudal fin and a few in the soft dorsal as well but uh, they also have a tooth patch but uh, you're probably not going to be able to see that I'm kind of in the shade here I'm not going to put this guy on the board. I uh, I think my hook got him in the gills and then it got him in the tongue. But uh, so I'm going to let him go. Well, we got our first our first Ultimaha bass. That is the target species. I can't really. There's a few houses around here, and I don't want to get real make a lot of noise because I might get run off so I'm trying to keep my voice down That was a pretty good one. Now this is more like it.
It's another small one. Not much color, but you can see that orange coloration, that orange coloration in the anal fin and the white fin margins. It's definitely a, an Altamaha bass. This water is kind of stained, so they, they don't have a lot of color to them. Wow, this is about the smallest one I've ever caught. But you can see the, uh, the traits really well. You can see the orange coloration there on the leading margin of the soft dorsal. Can you see that orange? And then you can see the orange there in the leading edge of the anal fin, as well as the spots in the anal fin and also you've got some orange coloration there on the leading edge of the caudal fin right before the, the white margin there on the upper and lower lobes of the caudal fin. That's a little juvenile, uh, well, I say juvenile. They, these fish are fully mature, you know, by the time they reach about five or six inches. See you, buddy. Another one. Same kind of deal, you can sort of see the coloration, especially in the anal fin. You can kind of see the coloration in the caudal fin. I'm going to put this one back where I caught him. See ya, buddy. It's a better one, but still, man, they just don't have much color, which is kind of a disappointment. Uh, I really wanted to show people the coloration, and uh, the water's kind of stained. I guess we had a, a thunderstorm yesterday or last night, and these fish just don't have a lot of color, but sometimes it's... The Altamaha bass is not really one of the more colorful upland species of black bass. That's one reason it was went kind of unnoticed for so long. But uh, they are most closely related to the Bartram's bass, which is native to the next drainage to the east, which is the Savannah drainage, of course. But that's definitely an Altamaha bass. You can see the coloration in the anal fin and the fin margins there. I'm going to get him back in the water. The, the markings are... Well, sorry, buddy. This 
feels like a turtle. Yep. The old river cooter. All right, buddy. How'd you do that? I don't, I don't even have a trailer hook. Okay, sorry buddy. <laughs> <laughs>